Hello there. Welcome to AWS Tech Guide Training. Today, we will be learning how to install Tomcat in a virtual machine in Google Cloud Platform. So as you see, I am logged in into my Google Cloud Platform and I am at the virtual machine instance dashboard and my Jenkins system is running. So if you have seen my previous video, you have seen that I have installed Jenkins in a virtual machine and it is up and running. So I'm just simply creating one instance for my Tomcat that I'm selecting Ubuntu as operating system and the version 16.04 LTS. Click on save. Just allowing both the traffic, allow HTTP traffic, HTTPS traffic. Click on create. And it is creating the virtual machine. Now copy the external IP. Now we will be trying to, we will be connecting this virtual machine. Click on SSH. It is opening the console. It is connected now. Now we will be updating the packages, which is sudo apt get update. It has updated. I am clearing the screen now. Now our next task is check Java version. We don't have any Java version here. So we need to install Java, which is apt install openjdk8 we will be installing. So it is openjdk-8-jdk. hyphen hyphen It's installing OpenJDK. I'm clearing the screen now. So we have installed OpenJDK as well as we have updated the package as well. I'm just changing the user to root user. Now at this time we have to download the Tomcat version and have to install in one of the directory in this virtual machine. So I'm just browsing to the directory where I want to install. I will be installing Tomcat under user local. Now here is the Tomcat website. I'm going to left hand side panel download tomcat8 click on the tar.zz copy the url and here in console just wget it so write the command wget give a space and paste the download url it's showing 404 not found well it's my type over here when i was writing this url so i missed mirror in this URL. So it has downloaded under my user local directory. So let's see. Yes, I have just listed the items from local directory. It's showing Apache Tomcat 8555 tar.zz has been installed. Now we have to unzip this tar.zz. That's why tar xvzf, the folder name, xvzf, the file name, and it has unzipped. As you see, it has unzipped. I'm just renaming this directory name from this big Apache Tomcat name to simply Tomcat. It has renamed, cleared the screen. Now, if you do ls, you see that we have our Tomcat folder over here. Now let's browse inside the Tomcat folder. Inside bin, because inside bin, we have our start.sh, startup.sh and shutdown.sh, both shell script to start and stop Tomcat. So we are just starting Tomcat, that is dot slash startup.sh. And it's showing Tomcat started. Tomcat runs on 8080 port by default. So we are checking the process now. PS my PS hyphen F. 
now copy the external ip colon 8080 and here is our apache tomcat up and running but there are few configuration we have to still perform to configure this tomcat properly so we are shutting it down now there is no process running clearing the screen now let's go back go to our conf directory inside conf directory if you list you get server.xml it is the server configuration file for tomcat and you see there is a connector port 8080 here is the connector port 8080 but since we are not changing the port for tomcat that's why we are not updating the port number but if you need to change the port for tomcat update it here and save it so we are just closing this file now let's find something context.xml we are finding a file context.xml and we find there are few existence of context.xml we have to update context.xml in two directories host manager and manager so let's open the file from host manager over here open this and just i'm commenting this value tag the same way update the context.xml from manager directory open it in vi editor comment the value tag save it and close yes we have updated both the context.xml now let's open tomcat users.xml here we have to update the users why we have to update the users because in tomcat maybe you will be deploying your application definitely in our next video we will be deploying our application to check the server status and the manager portal of tomcat we have to configure the user So I have just started Tomcat by dot slash startup dot sh, and you see our Tomcat is up and running. And once it will ask you to add the user ID and password, add that same user ID and password you have provided in Tomcat users XML file, and click on server status or manager app. You will get to the access of manager app as well as server status hope you have learned how to install apache tomcat in a virtual machine in google cloud platform if you have any query please write in the comment box below i will be happy to help you see you in our next session